Here's Dan James on the attack, looks for Sancho, lovely pass, this has to be a goal and let's go, Sancho scores his second of the game, looks for Marcus Rashford, Rashford goes down, Bruno might have a chance here on the volley, that's a lovely goal from Bruno Fernandes, the finish was outrageous. So, back again with another episode of the Manchester United Career Mode series. This is episode number 15. It's a big one today for the Europa League as we've got the quarterfinals in this one. And yes, we're going to be playing both legs in today's episode. Manchester United up against Lazio. First leg at Old Trafford. This is going to be a cracking tie. Obviously, we've got a few Premier League games in today's episode as we try and maintain our spot in the top four. We're already in the month of April and we're getting closer and closer to the business end of the season. So, should be exciting. If you guys are enjoying the United career mode, let's keep the support coming in. 2,500 likes again would be nice. And if you are new around here, subscribe for more FIFA 20 career mode content. Press conference time and if you guys want to see your questions being answered, drop them down in the comments section below. First one of the day. It's been said a billion times to shoot top corner in a penalty. Now, last episode, it was once again the same age-old problems, penalties. I've been messing up penalties since basically the start of this series and I just don't know what to do. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me to try and go top corner, but I clearly remember going top corner for one of my penalties in this series and even that didn't work. There's something about ultimate difficulty, man, with penalties, like the keeper normally just dives the right way and it's so, so difficult to actually score, which makes no sense, I know, but maybe I'm just bad at penalties. I think we've just got to, like, deal with that and move on. Next penalty that I take, I'm going to try and go top corner. I'll listen to you guys and let's just see what happens, but it's actually horrible that I missed this amount of penalties. It's crazy. Hopefully the next one will be in the back of the net. Imagine we get to like a penalty shootout in a crucial game like in the Europa League and I continue messing up like that. It's just unacceptable. I've got to find a way to score consistently from it. Next question. Even though in this episode Sancho was in good form, but overall don't you think he's another number 7 flop for Man United? Absolutely not. On the contrary, I think he's having a good season, especially considering it's his first back in the Premier League playing in a Man United shirt. 10 goals, 10 assists is pretty good. A lot of people were telling me that Martial actually has better stats than him. Well, that is clearly not true. Martial has scored only 7 goals and gotten only 7 assists in comparison to Sancho. Sancho is having a way better season. That's why I've been criticizing Martial and not Sancho. And I feel like Sancho is only going to get better from here. So, nope, not at all. I don't think he is a flop. I think next season he's going to be even better for us. Next question, any chance you can play Chong more often? He's already proved in an earlier career mode that he's good. I know Chong is quality, man. I definitely want to play him in the future. But right now, with us being involved in the Europa League and the Premier League, we need to play our best teams in those competitions for now because we're nearing the business end of the season. So Chong isn't really going to get that many opportunities. So that's why he's on the loan list. I'm considering loaning him out next season because he's still not at an overall that I'm, you know, ready to play him with. So maybe loaning him out next season and maybe in season three we could see Chong in action. But until then, I'm not sure if he's going to be getting much game time here. So that's the plan. Loaning Chong out first thing next season. But with that, we've wrapped up today's press conference. Let's move on. Sancho was class in the last episode as he scored a brace in the Europa League against Arsenal to knock them out and send us through to the quarterfinals. He's been great lately for me and well, that's why you guys voted for him as your player of the episode. A lot of you guys are saying that our progress with the youth academy is just really slow. We're not getting enough players into our academy and that's why I'm actually going to hire a third scout. Let's actually get it done. And, well, we've got a 5-star, five 5-star five scout, 3.6 million, but we've got a lot of money to spend, so let's get him involved. Now, which country should I send him to? Let me know in the comments section. A lot of people have been telling me Spain is a good option, so that could be a, a good option. Let me know in the comments section, and that's where we're going to be sending Sauli Jimmy from Finland. Here's a quick look at our season goals. I doubt we're going to complete the Class of 2020 challenge, but I'm hoping we can get the next gigs challenge done. Just three more assists needed with Dan James. We need to start stepping things up with Bruno and Rashford because we're very close to completing their objectives. If we complete those three objectives, we don't have to do any sort of forfeit. So our first game of the episode is against Brighton in the Premier League away from home. We can win this game and create a big seven-point gap between us and Chelsea, which will be massive and also put pressure on Spurs 
The goal for us this season is to try and finish third behind City and Liverpool. So let's get in there against Brighton and get the job done. I've made quite a few changes for this one against Brighton because of the fact that we've got Lazio in the Europa League midweek. So we've got Mason, Greenwood, Grealish, Dan James all in the lineup. But I kind of feel like we still need a bit of extra quality. So Marcus Rashford does indeed start. So this is our team, United versus Brighton. Let's go out there and get the result. Obviously, our goal for the game is to win it. We're Manchester United. We head into every game with just one goal, which is to win. But I also want to try and get goals with Rashford and assists with Dan James because we've got an objective to complete and goals from these two would really help us. Problems here for us. Ball goes out wide. It's back in now. Problems. The header saved by David De Gea. Good play though from Brighton. Got to give them credit. Good ball played in and it's dangerous. Wow. Fair play. It's Rossard with the goal and with a goal down to Brighton. A lovely cross coming in. Our defence couldn't handle it. And with a goal down now. Not the ideal start we were looking for. Marcus Rashford looks for Brandon Williams and here we go on the attack. Brandon on the attack now. Looks for the cutback for Marcus Rashford. Proper chance here for us. Rashford goes for goal and he's missed. How is Rashford not scoring from these positions, man? I mean, normally he finesses these in the back of the net, no problem. But lately, he's been stuck on the 24 goal mark for the season for a while now. I'm hoping he can, you know, break this goal drought. Now this is where we can actually cause problems as Dan James is on the run. Look at the pace of James. Looks for the cutback and finds Marcus Rashford. Tries the fake shot inside. Doesn't work. This has not been our game, man. Nothing seems to be going our way in this first half. Oh, problems again. But this time De Gea somehow saves it. It was a fantastic save. I mean, for a moment I thought it had gone in, but... The goal line technology says no goal, so it's not a goal. Honestly, it's been a bit embarrassing this first half. Brighton have in a way outplayed us, but the thing is we've had chances. We just haven't been able to take them. Hopefully in the second half we can see a change. So I'm putting Rashford up top in the striker role for this second half and also Greenwood's on the right, Dan James on the left. Let's hope this small change works. Look at this space Dan James has got to run into. This is our chance to get the equaliser. Here's Dan James on the attack. Looks for the cutback to Marcus Rashford and let's go. We're back in it. Dan James providing the assist. Rashford, right place, right time. The decision to switch them all around has worked. Rashford is a striker for us and he's doing the goods. A goal poacher. Dan James providing the assist. We're back in it. Let's now push for the winner. Lovely pass into Mason Greenwood. Spart goes for goal. Gets taken down as well. Of course, that's going to be a penalty. And I'm actually scared. A penalty that's so crucial for us to potentially get the three points. And you guys know how bad I am with penalties. My god, I actually don't want to take this penalty. That's how scared I am right now. Come on, Rashford. You've got to put this in. All right, you guys have said go top bins. So I'm doing it, guys. I'm going top bins. Rashford, please put this in. See, that's what I'm telling you, man. I went top left corner and still the keeper made the save. Now, are you guys still going to blame me? Like, honestly, man, this game is rigged. I went top left corner there. I even timed it well. And still the keeper made the save. What am I supposed to do, guys? Like, penalties, EA, they're just rigged. Here's Dan James again. Look at the pace of Dan James. There is no catching him when he's through. Still Dan James here, looking for a cutback, it's brilliant to Rashford on the turn and he somehow scored. Dan James with a couple of assists, Rashford getting the second goal and that missed penalty now isn't really going to affect the outcome of the game. We make it 2-1. Dan James deserves so much credit for that, the cutback was superb and also the finish from Rashford on the turn was lovely and Manchester United make it 2-1. Have a look at the replay for this goal. Dan James's cutback was really nice and then Rashford somehow doing a 360 no scope finish. I mean, it's this cod, but any, whatever, I'll take that man. Rashford making it 2-1 against Brighton. Problems here, chance for Brighton. Ooh, David De Gea got there first. Tammy Abraham was looking ruthless there, but anyways, it's full time and it's a win against Brighton. We had to fight for this. The second half, it was a completely different game. We dominated. We could even afford to miss a penalty and, well, we still came out on top. Rashford scoring a brace, Dan James getting a couple of assists. I'm happy with the performance, especially in that second half. So, in a very comfortable spot right now in the Premier League, thanks to that win over Brighton. We're fourth in the league with a seven-point gap between us and Chelsea. Brilliant position to be in. Now, I've got a big question for you guys. At this stage of the season, I think it's high time we decide to prioritise one competition over the other. And I'm actually thinking prioritizing the Europa League would be better, especially considering we've got such a big gap over Chelsea. 
and I think that's the right move. Let me know in the comment section, what would you do? Would you prioritize the Europa League at this stage because it's a chance to win a trophy and if you win it, you also get Champions League football or would you prioritize the Premier League? But for now, I think the Europa League has to be our main focus, but get involved in the conversation. Let me know in the comments. For now, though, it's Manchester United versus Lazio as we played them in the first leg at Old Trafford. Now, this is going to be a challenging fixture because we know Lazio are a good side. They've been doing really well in the Serie A and are probably contenders to win it in real life. So we know they're going to give us a good game. The first leg being at Old Trafford is a bit difficult, makes things a lot harder, but we've got to get a good result here at Old Trafford and avoid conceding maybe an away goal. Doing a bit of scouting on Lazio, they're having a decent season in the Serie A, Juventus are just killing it man, 30 games, 30 wins for them, but Inter Milan in 2nd place, Napoli in 3rd and Lazio in 4th, so 4th place team in Serie A up against the 4th place team in England, should be a good battle. Will we see more of Jack Grealish? Yes, I want to play him in the Europa League because he's the top scorer in this competition, so expect to see him in the lineup in this one. Manchester United versus Lazio at Old Trafford and this is how we've got the team set up. I've got Grealish starting because he's the top scorer in the Europa League, he deserves to play this one. Dan James starts out on the left side. Sancho Rashford all involved, Pogba McTominay is well in midfield, I'm going for a very strong defence with the likes of Maguire, Marquinhos and co. Dean Henderson is our goalkeeper for the Europa League and he stays in goal. United versus Lazio, let's get right into it. This is how we've got the Lazio team lining up against us, they've got Immobile, their danger man, he's going to be a tricky one to face. Milinkovic, Savage in that midfield, Lucas Leva as well, Ward Prowse. That's an interesting signing. They've got some good players in there, but overall, I think our team is way better and we've got to make use of that. McTominay inside to Jack Grealish. It's now Sancho. Now it's Pogba. Brilliant play from Manchester United. Pogba stops it. Nice trickery there from him. Looks inside for Sancho. Big chance for Dan James and it's a lovely finish. Dan James is in spectacular form and also give a lot of credit to Sancho for the layoff there as Manchester United take the early lead against Lazio. It was beautiful build-up play, especially Pogba there. The first touch he took to, you know, take it wide and then a nice skill move there to get it back inside. The cut back to Sancho. Sancho's awareness to find Dan James was brilliant and then, well... He just slammed that one home. Look at the power behind that shot from Dan James. Weaker left foot as well, but he just banged that one home. And United have a 1-0 lead. Let's go. Oh, that's a very good cross played in. Harry Maguire does well and McSomine helps get the ball away. Look at the strength there from McSomine, but he lost the battle there. Wan Bissaka winning the challenge. Pressure building up from Lazio as they're looking to get back into this one. Here's Joaquin Correa looks for Immobile. We've got to take Immobile seriously. Now it's Lucas Leiva finds Correa who goes for goal and well... Lazio get the equaliser as well as the away goal. It's 1-1 and game on. A frustrating goal to concede and especially from that range, Dean Henderson has to be doing better. 1-1. Here's Dan James on the attack. Looks for Sancho. It's a lovely pass. Still Sancho. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful from Jaden Sancho. I can't even speak. That's how good the dribble was from Jaden there. I mean, the stop there completely bamboozled both the keeper and the defender and then the composure to just pass it home. It was lovely. How are you guys criticizing Sancho, man? I mean, he is so, so good. I mean, look at that. Oh, the defender's gone, the keeper's gone and then the lovely finish right side of the net and well, Manchester United get the lead back. Cha Sancho showing insane composure to putting United back in the lead. It's 2-1 and Dan James picking up yet another assist and I think we've now completed his objective. Oh, that's a very good ball being played to Immobile. Marquinhos has to chase, but he can't. Joaquin Correa, big chance for him to get the equaliser, but this time he couldn't keep a shot on target, thankfully. Half-time against Lazio, and it's been a cracking game of football. Chances at both ends, but of course, we've taken our chances twice in this game, and hence we've got a 2-1 lead, but... This can go anywhere, man. Lazio are giving us a good fight. They've still got a bit of an advantage because of the away goal. So let's hope we can score more in the second half. Grealish is super low on stamina. It just makes sense to bring him off. And let's bring on Bruno Fernandes instead of him. Here we go now with Sancho. Looks for Bruno Fernandes. Bruno sliding this one for Sancho. Sancho trying to chip the keeper. But that was way too cheeky there from Sancho. This time it didn't work. And it's full time, a tough game with a lot of chances for both teams. In the second half, we came very close to making it 3-1 on a lot of different occasions, but we couldn't take our chances and well, the game ends in a 2-1 scoreline. The tie is not over yet. Lazio can get it done in the second leg. All they need is a 1-0 win, I think, at home, but I still feel like 2-1 is a good result. We've still got an advantage going into that second leg, so 
I'm content with the result. Is this win big enough? That's an interesting question. I am going to say we need to be at our best in the second leg. If Man United show up in the second leg, I think we will be through to the next round. So Anthony Martial seems to be disappointed with his lack of game time. The only reason I haven't been playing him is because he just doesn't seem to perform, man. Lately, he's been pretty darn abysmal. And hopefully he can step things up, man, because things are not looking good for him at all. Simulating our next game in the Premier League against Bournemouth, can we get the win? We do get a 1-0 win, which is nice. I also went ahead and started Lewis Davies in this one to, you know, get an appearance on him. And we used our second team. Well, a 1-0 win for us. I guess job well done. So, with the win against Bournemouth, we've taken the lead in the Premier League over Spurs, who've dropped points, which is nice. So, now we've got a two-point advantage over Spurs as well, and we still have a seven-point lead over Chelsea, which is great. You know what, guys? I'm actually gonna try and take our season goals seriously, because I feel like if we promote Harvey Bell and occasionally bring the two on at the end of games, we actually might be able to complete one of our objectives. So... I think Harvey Bell is at the stage where we can promote him. He's got a good potential gap between 84 and 94. His overall is 59. I think we can promote him. Let's do it, guys. Let's promote Harvey Bell to the senior team. Welcome to Manchester United's first team. I'm so glad Harvey Bell has got a four-star skill move rating because that is so, so important for cams. And also, he's got a high attacking work rate, which is definitely going to be useful. We're going to start training him very soon, but expect to see him maybe at the end of game so that, you know, we can sub him on and try and complete objectives. That's the plan. Up next, we've got a big away night. Manchester United take on Lazio. We've got the advantage though from the first leg as we beat them 2-1 at Old Trafford, but a 1-0 win is enough for them to go through, so we've got to be really, really careful, so let's get right into it. So here we go, potentially a big European night for the club. If we can get the job done, we're going through to the semi-finals of the Europa League, and that's why I'm going with basically a full-strength lineup. United, Lazio, this is how we've got the team set up, and also... I'm starting Bruno in this one because I need to get the assist objective done. And of course, he's been in great form lately. We've got Rashford, Anthony Martial. What better game to, you know, get your form back? So he starts as well. But besides that, it's basically my strongest 11. Forgot to put Dean Henderson in there. He deserves to play the Europa League game. So he's playing. And also, I've got the likes of Harvey Bell and Lewis Davies on the bench. If things are going our way, I would love to bring them on towards the end of the game to try and complete our objectives. So that's the plan. United versus Lazio. Let's get right into it. Same formation from Lazio and it doesn't look like they've made any changes to their team. They've still got Immobile, the same defense. They've got Millie Savage, Ward Prowse. It's going to be a challenge here, especially considering we're playing at their home stadium. Remember guys, we've got the advantage in this tie. We are still leading 2-1. Yes, if they score, they get the away goal advantage. But remember, at this very moment, we're still in the lead. So we've got to be patient in our build-up play. Spreading it wide to Lucas Digne, there's no need to give possession away in harmless fashion. It's Bruno now, on the turn, doing really well. Still Bruno. Pogba's made a good run. Still Paul Pogba, it's brilliantly done by Pogba. Goes for goal and scores a lovely goal. Paul Pogba makes it 1-0 against Lazio and dabs on the Lazio fans along with Bruno who picks up the assist for this goal. It was a lovely pass from Bruno but all about that finish from Paul Pogba as he beat a couple of defenders there. Look at the movement from Pogba. And then, yeah, beats one, takes it wide, and then bangs it home. Let's go. United now lead 3-1 on aggregate. Good ball played in, and it's a dangerous header and almost went in. Lucas Leiva doing well there. Got a bit lucky with that. It was a fabulous cross coming in from that right side. Lucas Digne. Now it's Anthony Martial on the attack. Go on. The Frenchman has made a great run into the box. Still Martial. But he can't get past the final man there. If Martial had the confidence, I'm sure he would have beaten those players there. But right now, he's lacking that. Here's Bruno looking to create. Bruno beats one. Lovely work. Sees Pogba. Another chance for him. This time with his left foot. But it's a big save from the Lazio keeper. We could have easily completed this tie by scoring the second. Because that would have been our second away goal. But Pogba's shot saved. Here's McTominay with a chance now. Goes back to Bruno Fernandes. Sees a rush for inside, goes for goal, but straight towards the keeper. Could be a chance here for Lazio. This is looking dangerous. Maguire does well, but the ball is still with Ward Prowse and Bruno doing defensive work. He's more than just scoring goals and getting assists, man. He is literally the complete player. As we're on the counter-attack now with Jaden Sancho, his pace is virtually unstoppable. Brings it inside. Sees Bruno Fernandes. Lays this one off for Martial. We might still have a chance here to score. And Martial can't score. I was trying to find Rashford there with Bruno because I thought it would have been a real cheeky pass, but it went to Martial instead. 
and well, we messed up. That was my fault. Completely messed up the attack. Half time against Lazio and I must say everything seems to be going according to plan. We're creating chances. Lazio have really struggled. And at their home stadium, we're dominating. Let's keep this up in the second half. One more goal and I think the tie is over. Pogba sees Marcus Rashford here, does well. Looks for Martial. And now it's Rashford, sees Jaden Sancho. We could end this game now. Sancho goes for the chip and it's brilliantly done by Sancho, who is in such good form. He's scoring with almost every chance he gets. And some of his goals lately have been utterly ridiculous as he scores yet again for Manchester United 2-0. And I think this tie is done and dusted. Can't see Lazio now scoring, what, three goals against us? In fact, no, they need to score four goals now. It's basically impossible for them. I think it's literally the best possible time to give Harvey Bell his Manchester United debut. He's just been promoted to the first team. And well, he's going to be getting his first game in a United shirt. We're also going to bring on Lewis Davies for McTominay. They need four goals. No way this is going to affect the results. So let's make the subs and get on with it. Lucas Digne. Goes to Lewis Davies and it's a chance for him. Goes for goal, his first chance. Oh my god, Lewis Davies, I cannot believe this. Off the cross by and in. Lewis Davies announcing himself to the footballing world with an absolute screamer. That's a contender for goal of the season, especially considering the way it came off the cross by and went in. Lewis Davies, man, 64 rated at the moment. And he banged that one home like it's nobody's business. Lewis Davies, man, just about in. Goal line technology coming to the rescue as Manchester United now lead 3-0 in this one. What a strike from Lewis Davies, man. Take a bow, his first goal in a United shirt. Well, giving youth an opportunity seems to be working out perfectly for us. I'm so glad we promoted him, man. This was such a nice moment. Probably one of the nicest moments of the series so far. You know, seeing one of your youth academy prospects deliver and do it like that. Wow. Pogba? Now here's Harvey Bell down the left flank. Let's see what he's all about. A nice ball roll to bring it back in. Looks for Marcus Rashford. Keeps it inside. Sees Bruno Fernandes. Still Bruno. The dribbling is nice. The dribbling is amazing. Bruno almost scored a sensational goal there. The dribbling from Bruno was lovely there. This, this is not looking good. Marquinhos could be sent off here. It was a rash challenge, but I don't think it's worthy of a red card. No, 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 no. It's going to be a red card. It's going to be a sending off. Oh my God. We were leading 3-0 and I do something stupid like that. Marquinhos is going to miss the first leg against, of course, whoever we face in the semi-finals. My God, that is just such a rash challenge for me. Completely unnecessary. And now I've put my team in a tough spot for the semis. And that's full time. This game had everything from, of course, a ridiculous stunner from literally a young prospect and red card action and just everything. It was a perfect game, especially from our point of view. We got the job done. We did it in style. The only regret I've got is Marquinhos' stupid sending off. But apart from that, a great performance. Job well done as Manchester United make it through to the semi-finals of the Europa League. How will Marquinhos' suspension impact your squad selection? I'm just going to say mistakes happen. But in that semi-finals, the first leg, Eric Bai has a big chance to step up and prove his worth for the club. So it's now time to find out who we'll be up against in the semis of the Europa League. Looking at the quarterfinal games, we knocked out Lazio, Roma knocked out Benfica, Dortmund knocked out Besiktas and Wolfsburg made light work of Lille. So the team we'll be up against in the semi-finals is going to be Wolfsburg. Okay, we got a bit lucky with the draw. I'd rather face Wolfsburg than Roma and Dortmund, but it's still going to be two difficult, difficult games. And it looks like Dortmund are going to be the team we'll come up against in the final. That's going to be a cracking fixture as well. But first, we need to knock out Wolfsburg. Those games will be in the next episode. Next up in the Premier League, we've got Aston Villa who aren't having a good season at all. Made sense to sim the game and well, we get ourselves a 2-0 win. Perfect. Davies also played, so that's the start for him. So, yeah, everything's going according to plan. Look at that. After scoring that sensational goal, Lewis Davies still getting the job done in training. He's now up to a 65 rating. Five games to go in the Premier League, and we're actually in a very, very good spot to secure third place in the Prem. So, I'm hoping we can get it done. The next episode is actually a big one for the Premier League as well because we've got a game against Spurs and the winner of this one, I guess, decides who finishes third in the Premier League. So it's a big game. And also, of course, Wolfsburg, the first leg. That's going to be a challenge as well. Today's episode was actually probably the best one for our season goals yet as we completed the next gigs challenge as Dan James was superb in this one. Also, 
a lot of progress made with the class of 2020 objective which is lovely and we also got an assist with Bruno and a couple of goals with Rashford so I'm happy with the way we've you know done with our season goals so far. Before we wrap up today's episode, time for you guys to make your vote count and vote for the player of the episode award. It's always a couple of nominees, first one being Dan James. I thought he had a brilliant episode, assists, goals, he did everything in this one. Your second nominee is going to be Jaden Sancho, again, who I thought was superb with assists as well as goals. So decisive at particular moments. Remember that goal he scored, bamboozling the defender and the goalkeeper. And well, because of all that, he's been nominated as well. So it's between Sancho and... And of course, Dan James. Click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. So that's that. Another episode wrapped up of the Manchester United career mode series. Not many episodes to go for the end of season one. So keep the support coming and drop a like in the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys next time.